In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about glycogen as a fuel reserve. Now, what is glycogen? In animal tissue, glycogen acts as a storage form of glucose. And glucose is the source of energy. So, we can consider glycogen as a fuel reserve. Now, in animal tissue, glycogen is mainly stored in the liver and muscle. Now, it is estimated that liver's approximately 10% of the weight is because of glycogen whereas in case of muscle it's only 1 to 2% of weight is because of glycogen however muscle mass is far greater than the liver mass so muscle quantity wise contains more glycogen and it is approximately 270 gram whereas in case of liver the total content of glycogen is approximately 90 gram now the liver also contain glycogen muscle also contain glycogen but glycogen in these both places, they have a totally different role. Whatever glycogen which is present in the liver, it is utilized to supply glucose to other tissue. So its main role is to supply glucose to other tissues. Whereas whatever glycogen which is present in the muscle, it is utilized for the quick source of energy for muscle itself. So it is a quick source of energy. So here you can see that muscles glycogen it is utilized not for other tissue but for muscle itself. So you can consider muscle as a selfish tissue in, in this aspect whereas if you consider liver its glycogen it is not utilized for liver itself rather it is utilized for other tissue. So in that way you can consider liver as a selfless organ. Now if you look at the cellular level glycogen is stored in the cytosol fraction of cell. Now in the cytosol, in addition to this glycogen, all the enzymes which are required for the synthesis of glycogen as well as breakdown of glycogen, all these enzymes are present. The synthesis of glycogen occurs from the glucose. So this pathway starts with the glucose, then by the multiple steps, it finally converted to glycogen. Whereas in the breakdown of glycogen, this pathway starts with the glycogen, it undergoes sequential hydrolysis to give rise to glucose. So the pathway in which glycogen synthesized, it is this pathway, it is called as a glycogenesis, glycogenesis. Whereas the pathway which breaks down glycogen, it is called as a glycogenolysis, glycogeno. Lysis. Now the final question arises that why glycogen act as a fuel reserve? See in our body, fat is already there which act as a fuel reserve and fat is actually a good source of energy. Each gram of fat contain 9 kilocalorie whereas each gram of carbohydrate it contain only 4 kilocalorie. So in, in this comparison fat is a concentrated source of energy then why this carbohydrate or glycogen? The reason is that, see, fat, because it is very highly concentrated source of energy, fat can supply energy for the long time. This is the one of the biggest advantage of the fat. But the disadvantage is that, that whatever energy which is stored in the fat, it is not immediately available. It is not immediately available. It will take some time to extract the energy from the fat. Whereas if we consider glycogen, which is one of the important carbohydrate, it can rapidly provide energy. It can immediately quickly provide energy. But here the disadvantage is that, that as glycogen is not as concentrated source of energy as this of fat. So it will provide energy for only short time. Right? So here in this aspect, glycogen is complementary to the fat as a fuel reservoir. See, fat provides energy for the long time, whereas glycogen, it provides energy for the short time. Fat's energy is not immediately available, whereas glycogen's energy, it is quickly available. So, in that way, whatever disadvantages this fat has, it becomes advantage in case of glycogen. Now, in addition to these two points, glycogen has two more interesting characteristics. What are these? See, glycogen on hydrolysis, it provides glucose. And in our body, there are some tissue which is totally dependent on the glucose for the energy. For example, brain. Brain cannot utilize energy from the fat. No. 
brain for the energy purpose it is exclusively dependent on the glucose and that will be supplied by glycogen only so that is one unique aspect of this glycogen the second thing is that that glucose is the only fuel molecule which can provide energy in the animal tissue under anaerobic condition so under anaerobic condition none only glucose can provide energy no any other molecule no fat cannot provide energy under anaerobic condition right so i hope that that this thing is now clear that glycogen it act as a fuel reserve so that completes our this video in the next subsequent videos i will discuss about this glycogenesis and glycogenolysis if you have any query or confusion please write it down in the comment section below thank you